We are counting down the top 10 extinct animals that scientists are working to bring back to life. From Ice Age predators revived on wild reserves to legendary birds and mysterious giants, this list reveals a breathtaking journey through lost worlds and hopeful new beginnings. Which forgotten creature could walk the earth again, and which revival is closer than you think? Let's begin, starting with number 10. Number 10, the Dire Wolf. Once the Shadow King of the Ice Age, now this legendary predator takes its first breath in the modern world. In 2024, three wolf pups, Romulus, Remus, and Khaleesi, were born on a sprawling 2,000 acre reserve. Engineered with the size and thick coats of their ancient ancestors, these pups are not perfect copies, but living echoes of a vanished era. They roam under open sky, watched over but untamed. Their presence proof that extinction's barrier can be crossed. The howl of the dire wolf rises again, not in myth, but in living fur and bone. And that's just the beginning. Number 9. The Heath Hen Once, its gentle calls drifted across the windswept meadows of New England, weaving through grasses and wildflowers. This small, amber-brown bird vanished from the world in the 1930s, leaving only faded feathers and museum skins as reminders. Today, fragments of its DNA, preserved in delicate, century-old specimens, offer a faint genetic echo. Scientists trace these whispers, comparing them to the greater prairie chicken, hoping to shape a living bird that carries the heath hen spirit. The meadows may be scattered and changed, but the dream of a lost song returning still stirs among the grass. But if you think that is impressive, wait until you see number five, a predator straight from prehistory. Number eight, the Quagja. Once, herds of these half-striped zebras swept across the sunlit plains of South Africa, their bold front stripes fading into a warm brown coat. By the late 1800s, the Quagga vanished, hunted to memory, its unique pattern lost. But now, in a triumph of patience and nature's own design, selective breeding has brought the Quagga's look back to life. Plain zebras, carefully chosen for their faint striping, have given rise to new generations that echo the quagga's vanished beauty. Today, these quagga-like herds roam wild reserves, their stripes shining in the grasslands, drawing travelers in hope alike. Sometimes the path to revival lies not in the lab, but in the living wild. But the wonders of science are only just beginning. Number 7. The Bush Moa Deep in the shadowed forests of ancient Aotearoa, these flightless giants once slipped between tree ferns, their feathers rustling like wind in the undergrowth. Gone since the 15th century, the Bush Moa's story might not be finished after all. In a quiet lab, scientists pieced together its nuclear genome from a single fossilized toe bone, an ancient code nearly complete holding secrets of a vanished world. The EMU, a distant Australian cousin, stands as a living reminder and possible guide for what might come next. Though the bush moa's true behavior remains a mystery, each breakthrough in decoding its DNA brings the dream of towering birds moving through green light closer to reality. If these forests echoed with giant footsteps again, what wild wonders might return? The next chapter in avian resurrection waits just beyond the trees. Number 6, the Passenger Pigeon. Once these birds swept across eastern North America in flocks so vast they turned daylight to dusk, a living river of wings that stretched from horizon to horizon. Their sheer abundance shaped the forest below, raining seeds, pruning branches, stirring new growth wherever they passed. In 1914, the last passenger pigeon vanished, and the skies fell silent. Now, hope gathers in the gentle coo of the band-tailed pigeon, a close cousin chosen as the model for revival. Scientists, guided by fragments of DNA preserved in museum drawers, dream of nurturing new flocks by the late 2020s. If these birds returned, they could bring back the rhythm of renewal to the woods. Life casts hating from the sky as it once did in an endless, breathtaking wave. But the next animal on our list brings the countdown back to Earth and closer to the drama of ancient predators. Number 5. 
the Thialacine. In the hush of Tasmanian twilight, shadows once stretched long and striped across the forest floor. The Thialacine, with its haunting gaze and tiger's back, slipped through the undergrowth as the island's silent hunter. When the last of its kind faded in 1936, the forest lost a whisper, one that scientists now hope to rekindle. Preserved pelts and faded bones hold the blueprint, but reviving a marsupial predator means more than matching stripes. It calls for nurturing life in a pouch, guiding fragile beginnings through a surrogate's care, and wondering if a vanished song can find its place in a changed world. If the thylacine's echo stirs again, it will be a dance between memory and hope. Ancient stripes flickering at the edge of dawn, but the island's next legend waits just beyond the mist. Number 4. The Dodo Long ago, this gentle giant wandered the forests of Mauritius, its plumage soft as a cloud and its eyes bright with curiosity. The Dodo vanished in the late 1600s, swept away by hungry newcomers and the animals they brought, rats, pigs, monkeys, leaving only dreams and a name that came to mean gone forever. Yet in hidden drawers, bones and faded feathers yielded a secret. The Dodo's entire genome, read and pieced together from museums, Museum treasures. Scientists now hold the blueprint of a bird lost to time, but the island that shaped the dodo has changed beyond recognition. Forests have thinned, and predators still prowl the undergrowth. Even if a dodo were born again, its homeland may never be the paradise it remembers. The dodo's story beckons with wonder and warning, a symbol of hope and a question. Can we restore life or only its shadow? And what do we owe the world we wish to remake? Number 3. The Northern White Rhino Across the golden grasslands, only a handful of these giants remain too few to carry their kind into the future. Open doors, sealed in vials of frozen memory. Scientists have gathered cells from the last living rhinos, preserving them in liquid nitrogen, each one a heartbeat held in waiting. In quiet laboratories, these cells are coaxed into embryos, tiny beginnings shaped from the edge of extinction. Southern white rhino females stand ready as surrogate mothers, their strength offering a bridge to tomorrow. Already, lab-nurtured embryos wait for their chance, a promise that the the heavy footsteps of the northern white rhino may one day thunder again. This rescue is not a return to the distant past, but a fight for life on the brink, a testament that even as the world narrows, the will to restore can be as strong as the wild itself, and on the horizon, new legends wait to be reborn. Number 2. The Aurochs For thousands of years, these towering wild cattle thundered across Europe's meadows and forests, shaping the land with every hoofbeat. Their sweeping horns and dark, powerful frames once held a place at the heart of wild Europe until the last Auroch vanished in 1627, leaving only legends and scattered bones. Now a new chapter begins. Across rolling highlands and sunlit reserves, herds of Toros and Uruz cattle graze where wild Aurochs once ruled. Bred for strength, color, and the untamed spirit of their ancestors, these animals are more than a tribute. They are living, breathing hope. Selective breeding guided by the ancient blueprint hidden in modern cattle has brought them closer to the wild form with every generation. In 2025, the first Aurochs-like cattle will step beyond fences into European reserves. By 2026, Scottish hills may echo again with the low calls of these giants. Their grazing will spark waves of new life birds, insects, wildflowers, reviving lost biodiversity in their wake. Not a memory, but a return. The wild pulse of the Aurochs surging back into the living world. And if ancient cattle can reclaim their place, what might come next? The answer waits, colossal and shaggy, on the frozen horizon. Number 1. The Woolly Mammoth Across the endless white of the Ice Age, herds of these shaggy giants once thundered through the snow, their curved tusks glinting under pale northern skies. With thick russet hair, a mountain of insulating fat, and blood built to carry warmth through the coldest winters, the mammoth shaped the frozen world beneath its feet. 4,000 years have passed since the last mammoth vanished, leaving only silence and the memory of their trails pressed deep into the tundra. Now a new New hope stirs in the arctic winds. Scientists are weaving ancient mammoth genes into the living coat of Asian elephants, guiding the birth of calves adapted for the chill. Creatures that could graze the wild steppe, 
trample snow and turn mossy ground into grassland once more. If these herds return, they may help slow the thaw of permafrost, locking away carbon and breathing new life into the frozen earth. The Dream, a living bridge between past and future, where mammoth footsteps echo across the ice and the tundra blooms again. In the Dance of Giants, the world remembers what it means to be wild and dares to imagine a second chance. From the first living dire wolf pups roaming wild preserves to the awe-inspiring vision of woolly mammoths reshaping frozen tundras, these ten extinct animals reveal just how far the dream of de-extinction has come. Across every entry we saw a pattern. Scientists blend ancient DNA, modern relatives, and bold imagination. Whether reviving half-striped quaggas through careful breeding or mapping nearly complete moa genomes from ancient bone. Some like the northern white rhino stand at the edge of extinction, blurring the line between loss and hope. Others, such as the dodo or thylacine, remind us that bringing a species back means confronting changed habitats and deep ethical questions. The ranking highlights ambition, feasibility, and ecological impact, placing animals like the aurochs and mammoth at the top for their potential to restore entire landscapes. Ultimately, this list shows de-extinction is more than science fiction. It is a living experiment in wonder, responsibility, and the possibility of second chances. If nature's lost legends do return, it will be because we dared to imagine life reborn.